So I actually had a bit of a late start to my morning this morning, but after waking up, I just made my bed. And after that, then I just started to get dressed for the day, and then I began making my breakfast. While I'm waiting for my coffee, I'm just going to begin preparing my breakfast, so I'm just cutting up some sweet potato to start. Next, I'm just cutting up some onion to add to the pan with my sweet potato. Don't have many utensils up here yet. So I'm just using a fork for most things. I'm just going to season it with a bit of this roasted red pepper seasoning. It's snowing pretty hard out again today. It's not the most attractive looking breakfast ever, but I'm sure it tastes really good. After finishing my breakfast, it was time to get started building the kitchen cabinets today. So in total, I'm building four base cabinets. Three of them are 15 inches wide, which is how wide this one is right now that I'm working on. And then one of them is 24 inches wide because that is going to fit the sink in it. So it has to be a bit bigger for that. I'm just moving the base cabinets that I built against the wall just to get them out of the way. I did end up building another two today, but I didn't show the steps of me building them just because it's the same as the first one, so I didn't want it to be too repetitive.
So as you would have seen, all I finished last time when I was here was the three base cabinets and then after that I ended up just going skiing for the rest of the day just because it was a nice day and I was already up here but I had finished everything that I could because that was all the supplies I had. So today I'm planning on getting the majority of the kitchen finished and then we'll see how much time I have left here. So currently I am working on the fourth and final kitchen cabinet, which I had been waiting to come in. This cabinet is a bit wider at 24 inches instead of 15, so it can hold the sink. Now that I've completed building all of the base cabinets, it's time to assemble the legs that the cabinets will stand on. These legs will actually end up being covered by toe kick that is installed under the kitchen cabinets. And after that, I'm just taking a tape measure and measuring where the suspension rail is going to sit. And then I had to cut the suspension rail to match the correct length, which was 15 inches to match the cabinet. Then I had to install the suspension rail to the wall, which was about 32 inches high. And I just checked to make sure that the suspension rail was level before I fully secured it to the wall. After placing the cabinet onto the suspension rail, I just tightened it and locked it in. And now I have to repeat the same process for the rest of the cabinets. So after measuring the length this time, it was about 54 inches, so I had to cut the suspension rail again. And I also had to measure the height, which was roughly 32 inches again. And like I said, just repeated the same process again of screwing the suspension rail onto the wall and ensuring it was completely level. And then it was time to put the legs on these cabinets too. After hanging the cabinets on the suspension rail, I just decided to turn that into a surface to build the shelves on.
And now I'm just installing the rails onto the kitchen cabinets that the shelves will slide on. In order to take a break from all the kitchen installations, I decided to hang up these hooks onto the wall. Originally, in this corner, I was going to build a closet to go behind the door, uh, just to hang up coats, put boots, but now I'm debating just having this up here to, for um, anyone to hang up their coats, hats, any of that stuff, and then a shoe rack below, and then maybe a couple other racks um, or shelves in the corner there. But I don't think I'm gonna build an actual official closet to close it in. So in case you haven't seen before, this is what the plan for the kitchen to look like will be. Um, there's a stove as well as a mini fridge that's missing right now and I didn't finish everything but this is what it will be looking like in the future. Hi everyone, I just want to thank you all for watching and welcome to my channel if you're new here. I have a lot of new subscribers and people that have been watching my videos recently so I just want to say I'm super grateful for all of you and all of your kind comments. So unfortunately, I did not end up finishing the kitchen today like I had originally planned for. It was a much bigger job than I had anticipated. I have a lot of super exciting plans coming here very soon. So I hope you continue watching and I will see you again next week for another video.